Today, we're going to take a look at the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. Stay tuned. I've been working on computers for over 20 years, and in that time, I've collected a pretty good set of tools. However, most of my tools are kind of janky, and I don't even have a proper case to keep them in. I keep them in this plastic bag. This has all my precision screwdrivers and pry tools for whenever I'm working on notebooks or other small compact devices. So when iFixit had their Black Friday sale, I jumped on this. I got the iFixit. ProTech Toolkit for 70 bucks, and this comes with a nice assortment of all the tools that you would normally need to be able to take apart notebooks or cell phones or tablets. The benefit to buying a nice set of tools is that not only are the tools really good quality, this also comes in a really organized manner. So when you're actually working on something, you don't have to dig through you know, a plastic bag to try to find the next tool that you need. And honestly, inevitably, I'll always find out that the one screwdriver I need, the tip got stripped off of it the last time I used it because honestly, a lot of them were just garbage. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and show you exactly what it comes with. So let's do that now. As I said in the intro, these are the tools that I've been dealing with for a while now. This cheesy little bag right here that I think I got with an actual toolkit. I think some of these pry bars and stuff actually came with this bag right here and I've just kind of continued to fill it up more and more. And this has all of my different pry tools and stuff like that that I'm sure I've actually had these in videos before. So now I'm actually going to set those aside and we're going to look at the ProTech toolkit from iFixit. This one right here, as I said before, I picked it up for 70 bucks online at iFixit's website. And actually, I think I bought this one from Amazon actually. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description where you can pick up your own. Unfortunately, I don't think they're on sale anymore. So, it comes in a really nice box. It has a little hook here, so if you want to hang it up, I don't know why you would, but if you're a retailer, it would be nice to be able to hang it up on a shelf like that. So let's get into this box and see what it comes with. So first thing that we need to do is cut the tape that they have on the top and bottom. And then we can slide the top cover off. And then we have an inner box with the iFixit logo on the front. We just slide open just like this, and there's our toolkit. So we pull this thing out, and it looks like we have some other advertisements. Oh, and a set of stickers. Not sure exactly what I would put these on, but they're there if you want them. So set all this aside, and we're gonna go ahead and roll this thing out and see what it comes with inside. So the first thing we'll look at, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go from left to right and we'll cover everything the toolkit comes with. The first thing on the top right here, it comes with an anti-static strap. And honestly, I have never used one of these things and I have never had an issue. I've never had a static problem. As long as you make sure to ground yourself before you actually work on a computer, then a lot of times these things honestly aren't necessary. However, if you're in doubt, there's no problem using them, and it's a nice little addition to the kit here. So the next thing we have here is a suction cup. So if you're gonna be doing any kind of screen replacements for iPhones or Android or tablets or things of that nature, this thing right here can give you leverage, and it's a nice little suction cup. And then the next thing that we have here is it looks like we have three opening tools. These things right here, you can usually get in between a little crack on a device and be able to separate it. And these things are actually made out of plastic, so they're made to be damaged, so they don't damage what you're actually working on. So if one of these things gets hurt, you know, you have two extras in here. And then if we move this over, we can see in the next compartment here, We have a pair of reverse tweezers. These here, when you squeeze, they actually open up. And these are actually really nice. They have a plastic tip on them. So if you're dealing with electronics and stuff, they're non-conductive. So you can grab stuff and hold on to it without actually squeezing down on the tweezers themselves. And then the next compartment here, we have 
some 45 degree tweezers and these things come in really handy. I especially use these things when I'm taking SD cards out of Raspberry Pis. They work really good. I use a lot, get a lot of use out of these things right here. I actually had several pairs of these already, but it's nice to have one inside of a kit. And then right next to that, you have a pair of straight tweezers. And these straight tweezers are typically um, a lot stronger. They've got a lot thicker tips than the 90 degree ones. The 90 degree ones are really fine tipped and you can't really put a lot of force on them otherwise that'll bend the tip. These ones here, you can put a lot more force on. So if you need to pull something out or if you need to grab something in an area where straight tweezers will work, then these are the ones for you. And it's nice having those in the kit too. Okay, so the next thing that we have in the kit here is this standard spudger. And this thing right here, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry, but it's got a pointed tip on one side and it's got a flat tip on the other side. And these things work really good if you need to get in or undo a connector or move a, um, a clip for a whip ribbon connector or a wireless connector, you can just pop it up with these things. And these things actually work really well. They come in really handy whenever you need a pointed object. And it's made out of plastic, so it won't ground anything out. And it's a perfect addition to a electronics toolkit. And then the next thing that we have here is this is actually a neat little tool here. I think according to iFixit's box, they call this a halberd sponger, if I'm saying that correctly. However, on one side, you have a hook, so you can kind of grab behind something if you need to. But on this side, this is the one that interests me the most because on some devices, you have things that are taped down. And this thing right here is really thin and you can actually get underneath something and actually scrape it up like that without damaging the sticky portion of it. So I'm really looking forward to actually using this and trying it out and seeing how it works. And then the next thing that we have is a metal spudger. And this one right here, you have the blunt side on one side, and then on the other side, you have the sharper pointed side. And this thing right here is a tool that I've really wanted. This is actually one of the tools that I was most looking forward to in this kit, because this right here, it's a lot stronger than the plastic ones. The plastic ones bend really easy, for obvious reasons, they're made out of plastic. And this one right here, it's a lot stronger and you can kind of get in to pop things up. And I'm actually really looking forward to being able to try to use this thing out. And then the last thing that we have here is a jimmy in order to get into different cases and stuff like that. And I have several of these already. In fact, in my old kit, this is the one that I've been using for a really long time. And as you can see, just from the quality difference in these things, it's definitely improvement with the iFixit. You have a nice plastic handle rather than this one that just has kind of a rubberized style handle on it. But this one right here, it works really good and it's been a really invaluable tool to me. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It's just basically a higher quality version of the one that I had before. And now if we move on now, to the next area, this right here is the big portion of this toolkit right here. This is the actual bit set that this comes with. So if we open this thing up, we can see that it comes with a wide assortment of different bits. I'm not gonna go ahead and list every single bit that it comes with, but I'll kind of give you a highlight of them. It comes with several different size Phillips bits. It comes with your triangle bits. It also comes with some security Torx bits and some really tiny Torx bits. These actually come in really handy. I'm constantly twisting and messing these things up. So it's real nice to have a brand new, nice quality set of these things right here. And then also it comes with some square bits as well as some regular Allen bits and some hex bits across the back right here. And you also have the tri-point bits that are used in a lot of apples nowadays. What Apple has done is they've taken the regular Phillips bit that you would normally use, and they've just taken one wing off of it. So it's three instead of four. And honestly, there's no reason to do that other than just making things hard for people. So it's nice to have a proper tool now to be able to replace batteries in MacBook Pros and things like that. So I don't have to use the screwdriver that typically comes with the battery that is never very high quality. It also comes with a really high quality bit driver and a flexible bit extension. And then with this also, the cover for this tray right here, it actually has a whole divide pattern on it so you can organize your screws and things like that on the devices that you're taking apart. 
you just put them in here in the little squares you can kind of keep them a little bit better organized and then also underneath this entire thing if we move this out of the way we have a magnetic pad that's actually part of the case itself. So if I grab something metal here and show you, it actually sticks down to the pad. So if we ever have, you know, loose screws and things of that nature, you can just set them on the pad and they just stay stuck. And actually that is really nice. So if you actually were to move it like this, they don't fall off. That's actually really, really neat. And I'm actually looking forward to using that one too. So, The last thing we're gonna look at, we're gonna go ahead and move back here. And this is one I forgot to look at. And these ones right here are these guitar pick looking things. And these are basically just opening picks is what iFixit calls them. And it comes with a whole bunch of them because honestly, these things get torn up really easy. And what I've been using for the same purpose for a long time now is these free credit cards that people send you in the mail. What I do is I just typically throw the propaganda away that they come with and I keep the cards themselves because they work really good to be able to get into stuff. But as you can see, from this card, they take a lot of damage. They actually get torn up really bad. So these right here are essentially gonna do the same job as those, and they just can get in between um, notebook cases and things of that nature to be able to pop things open. So this is a really neat little addition to this kit. And hopefully they sell replacements because I'm sure I'm gonna need them at some point. And that's my take on the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. This is a great little toolkit and I can't wait to dig into it. Uh, you'll probably see it in videos in the future because obviously I'm gonna need tools. So anyway, while I have you here, I also have a website at cybercputech.com where I have all the show notes to the videos that I have on this channel. And someday I'm actually gonna get around to putting my t-shirts on there. But in the meantime, my t-shirts are always available in a link in the description below. Also. Follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter at CyberCPU as well as CyberCPU on Instagram. If this video was helpful to you, then please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.